Hey, good morning. So, had a quick question as far as going ahead and setting up a constraint on a book. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this all the way from just a couple planes here. And trying to decide if I want to do it with planes or if I want to do it with a box. Um, we'll do it with a box. So lay that down. And we'll go ahead and scale this. Somewhat in the shape. And the reason that I'm doing a box is because if I wanted to have, uh, you know, if I wanted to go through and uh, UV this, then I can UV one side and UV the other. And that would give us like the, uh, the inside and the outside of the magazine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this by holding down Holding down shift. So just put that there. And actually, I'm going to leave that in the same spot. So I'm gonna leave that in the same spot. Name one of these. Mag cover. Then mag back. So that way we have a cover and a back cover. same spot and <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take these and group them just name that magazine so so far we just have the magazine if we grab the group obviously we can move everything And then from here, we're going to start adding in our locators because we want to have the locators over here on the side. So we're going to go to rigging. And rendering animation rigging. There we go. Now you can set up a hotkey to add locators. Um, there's a application called Touch Portal. And what Touch Portal does is it allows you to um, set up macro keys. So if you have things that you need to do, uh, you know, like keystrokes that you need to do over and over, you can set that up in Touch Portal to be able to do that at a touch of a button. So let's go ahead and drop in a few locators. Now let's rename them. And so let's think of how this is gonna work. So basically, we want to have the, uh, we'll say magazine global. 
so that's going to allow us to control uh, the position of the magazine. And right under that, we're going to have the magazine global offset. So immediately when you make an offset, the best thing to do is just go ahead and make it a child. So what do we want after that? So what we're going to need is we're going to need the cover and we're going to need the back. So we'll do... Magazine cover. Magazine back. And you guessed it. We're going to need offsets. So magazine cover set. Magazine back set. So what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> we're going to have the cover the back be a child of the global offset so I'll take that one and that one middle mouse drop them on here so now we have this hierarchy set up so if I come to the magazine global threw me off seeing other locators in there. We'll just delete those for now. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this and we'll just call it here. Okay. <clears throat> so the reason that I didn't move these initially uh, was because we were doing our little tree here. You can do it, you know, and place the magazine global or whatever your root is, and then you can do a constraint and then break that constraint in order to align the, uh, the other one to the master one. So if I wanted to add one right now, We'll just do that real quick. I'll just name that blank. So if I wanted to take and position, you can see we have the position of our root over here. Blank one is here. So I can say, grab the root. And then grab the blank, constrain, parent, option box. We don't want to maintain offset. Apply. Now you see we have a constraint under our blank. Our blank is located where our master is. And we can delete that constraint and our blank stays there. So that's just a way to get it over there and to have the same orientation. So what we want to do here is 
the magazine control or magazine global. We need to parent that or constrain that from the group. So we'll select a group. Go constrain and we'll option box maintain offset. Apply. Close. So now we have our magazine global. We can move that around. Position it however we want. That keeps all of our locators in place. So now we need to get our locators and do the same thing. So we'll go to magazine cover and then we'll do the offset the offset go to constrain and it's already at maintain op offset parent see that uh, plus show up and then we're going to do the same thing with the back we're going to go to main uh, magazine back offset constrain parent. so now we'll grab the magazine cover offset I think I just did that backwards. Yeah, I did. It happens. <laughs> so we'll just come in and delete these. So we'll select the cover locator. We'll select the cover constrain parent. Here. There's our cover offset. If we select the magazine global, so we'll do the same for this one. We'll go to the magazine back, magazine back, geometry. Constrain parent. Select that. Go to cover. Go to the global control. And then you can go ahead and you can animate the global control here. And if you need to offset it, then you can still, you can see how we can offset here. Now you have this pivot over this one. So that gives us the ability to control what pivot we're actually working off of. So the the good thing about this is if you have like a can that your character picked up and you want to like I'm uh, trying to think of a situation so <clears throat> with my cell here so if I have my cell phone and we'll say you know I have it where I'm holding it way up here. And, you know, there's a lot of cell phone that you can see, like right in this area. Director comes to you and says, hey, I don't like that. 
you know, can you move the cell phone, you know, to where they're holding it on the bottom? So this way there's less cell phone down here and it looks more natural. If you animated just a constraint, you would have to break your constraint, reset it up and everything. With this, we can just say, not a problem. And we can take the global offset. And you know, if we set it to object, Yeah, it was like that. We can go ahead and move the hand down there. And now wherever this one goes, we get in here, go back to world. So wherever the object goes, because this was going to be the one that was animated initially. And if we just move, you know, these locators, then we have this. And it still keeps all the animation and everything. So that's a super helpful way of being able to modify your uh, animation and to use locators as rigs, pseudo rigs. Hope that helped. I will catch you guys later on. See ya.